Hello, welcome to the Neckbeard Experience. I've got a pretty good lineup today of incels and older neckbeards trying to hit on minors. Or just someone who's a lot younger than them. Oh, neckbeards. I hope you never meet one. But if you do, I'd love to hear your story. If you have a story you'd like to share, send it to funwithfailure at yahoo.com. Gmail.com is... it's active, and I do have a few stories in there that I was able to salvage. I'll get those together as soon as I can. And if I haven't answered you, please be patient with me. I'm terrible with emails. But without further ado, let's go. So this happened a few years ago, so my memory may be a little fuzzy. This story involves me, my girlfriend May, and the neckbeard LB. My father owns a small tech shop, which I help out during busy months. One day, 20 minutes before closing, my girlfriend and I were cleaning up. We were the only two staff members left, since I sent the other ones home because it was a very quiet day. In enters LB, the type of guy that you read about but you never see in real life. Fat, blondish red, greasy, long hair and a ponytail, a shine on his forehead, I don't know if that's from the oil or the sweat, or both, and the most foul B.O. I've ever smelled, sour mixed with a musty odor of old Doritos and rotten food. I was behind the counter, and my girlfriend was stocking the shelves on the other side of the shop, out of view. LB walks up with his laptop in his hands, and he puts it down on the counter, and he says, I'm having a problem with my laptop's memory. Can you please take a look? Of course, no problem. As I open the laptop, which is covered in questionable stains and crumbs, I put on my gloves and I get on with what I was doing. LB's BO did not really help, so I asked him to take a look around the shop while he waited. So out pops my girlfriend with a soft voice asking about something. Note. My girlfriend is Japanese, and she has an accent when speaking English. Hey, where are the HDMI cables? In the back if we're not out. Arigato! GB snaps his neck around to locate the sound. He looked like a damn owl looking for his prey. That, that voice is so soft and gentle. Is it a girl? Yep. I, I, is she Asian? Yes, why? And with a creepy grin, he moves closer towards me. Japanese? Mmm. I kid you not, he really made that mmm sound. Yes? Mia pops out, and she walks towards me behind the counter. LB follows her with his creepy look and smile, breathing like a pig with asthma. Mia's trying to make small talk. Hello, I'm May. How's your day? Sorry for making you wait so long. Konnichiwa. I'm LB. But you can call me Simba. What? Yes, yes, I could be your... I I want to be... I must be your senpai. Why is a Japanese goddess doing in a shitty place like this? Working. What else? Yeah, dude, what else? Can you please calm down and act normal? Apparently that was a big mistake that I made there. Who are you to talk to such a beautiful creature, you white pest? LB grabs Mia's hand while hanging over the counter. He says some weird nonsense in Japanese, and Mia says, Could you please let go of me? I don't like this. Please let go. Dude, let her go. She clearly doesn't like this. Please act civil, man. Who is this white normie nobody anyway? You should not be around men like that. They're toxic. He's my boyfriend. Yes, so can you please let go of her? Him? Your boyfriend? I bet he doesn't even speak Japanese! Or respect your culture! He's only using it as a trophy! What, what the, the f-, 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 I bet he doesn't even watch anime! He did this grinning and winking at May. No, I do not. I could see the grease spilling from his palms while he was gripping her hands. See, I told you. You and I should watch anime together. He winks at May again while grinning. Now let the f- go of her, or you're f- dude. I don't like anime. LB looks shocked. He looks shocked and angry, and he let go of Mia. The counter is now stained with grease and sweat. He starts yelling at May. 
What do you mean you don't like anime? You're Japanese! You must watch anime, you're Japanese! You've been whitewashed by this based white guy who doesn't even love you, only uses you for sex in your type because you're Asian. I could give you real love, and I'm an expert in Japanese culture. Watching anime does not make you an expert. Please take your stuff and leave. He slams his laptop shut, grabs it from the counter, and leaves. Dude, thanks for coming. Have a great day. Mia and I look at each other, both shocked and laughing her ass off. I'm gonna go disinfect my whole arms. Yeah, please do. Note, the reason why his laptop was so slow was because of the unhealthy amount of lolly and hentai pictures, and also videos. My fiance works at a large storage building as a side hustle. She worked until 11 p.m. One day she started heading home, and a co-worker saw her in passing. It was the neckbeard. He stopped her and asked, if you can wait a minute, I'll walk you to the bus station so uh, nothing bad happens to you. Well, she agreed. He didn't make any previous moves, and people from that place were generally just friendly. It was just the two of them walking to the bus station. After a few minutes of chit-chat, he asked her when she was born. So what are you? 1996? Uh, 1997? No! Haha, <laughs> year 2000! Huh, <laughs> funny. I thought you were 16 or 17. Apparently math is not his strong suit. Okay, literally after he just said this, thinking she was a minor, he said, You know, if you're a bit older, I'd ask you out. Well, I'm not so... <laughs> I mean, you're not that young, but yeah. After that, he proceeded to tell her, my buddy, he's 43, and his girlfriend is like 25. Huge red flags already. After he acknowledges the 15 years age difference between the two, he says, It's a shame. Me and my buddy played D&D &D at my friend's place. We're missing a fifth player. She gave him signals that she wasn't interested. Yeah, it'd be kind of weird. Especially if I brought you to the club with my friends. They say like, whoa. Isn't she a bit young? But then I'd say, oh no, she's legal. What the hell? He literally made up a scenario in his head where he had to explain that she was legal age. Further proves that he knows she's too young. He admitted that he thought that she looked younger. Then some conversation passes. He then says, well, I have a bathtub with my name written all over it when I get home. She says when she gets back, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich has hers on it. He then asks her if she... So do you eat peanut butter like this? <laughs> he proceeded to pretend to pour a glass of peanut butter in his mouth, with his tongue sticking out, like Jabba the Hutt. Disgusting. She got nervous, and said it was too dense to eat like that. They walked a bit more, and then she mentioned me. You got any plans for this week? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with my fiancé. Oh, you could have told me. I want to put so much effort into it then. Well, the effort that he put into it was basically grooming her. They got onto the bus and didn't talk, and he left after saying, Bye. I'm glad he didn't touch her, and that he didn't make any moves after she mentioned me. I would have beaten him to a pulp if he did. Excuse me if I'm being kind of rude, but I'm furious. Also, I've never been on this subreddit before. I'm on some subreddit. I don't remember what it is, but I see something that says incel. I don't remember what the post was about, but it said Stacy sucks Chad's black dick, but he uses more colorful language. So of course, I was kind of upset. I really didn't know what an incel was, but I knew it was something sexist. Normally, I ask in the comments. I got a DM a couple of minutes later. It's from this apparent incel, the same neckbeard who made the post. He tells me what he thinks an incel is. An incel is a person who girls think is too ugly and small. They'd rather go grind Chad's than an actual nice guy's. Okay, thanks. I reply. Somehow we keep texting. 
He would say things, and I'd have questions. He'd keep posting, and got blocked from the subreddit. So he made more and more accounts. Now there's something you might need to know about me. I don't like upsetting people, so I won't say stuff like, stop talking to me. I know, I know, it's bad, I shouldn't do that. I should have the guts to go ahead and say that, but I don't. So he keeps texting me from these new accounts. I just listened and sometimes asked questions. Sometimes, very rarely, we chatted about things. This happened twice. I would constantly say that it's not all about sex. I made sure that he knew that I was one of those people. He asked, Have you ever dated someone who wasn't a Chad and was an ugly duckling? That was his words, not mine. In fact, I have, so I said so. He said, Your friends probably told you to break up with him and told you that you're pretty enough to hook up with a Chad. As a matter of fact, that was true. My friend did say that. Then he said, did you break up with him and Chad? No, I did not Chad. Do I say that? He asked me if I broke up with him. No, I did not. He broke up with me. This made me so mad. I built up the courage to block his accounts and ignored him. Damn neckbeards. So as the title says, I met this guy on SWOTOR, which is Star Wars The Old Republic. It's a massively multiplayer online game. For those of you who aren't familiar with online role-playing games, it's where you can challenge other players to a duel. And this one guy, he challenged me to one. Let's call him Onyx. After the duel, we teamed up to do some missions together. At this point, he seemed pretty normal. A bit weird because he used a lot of asterisks while texting in-game. After a few days of the same routine of meeting up in-game and getting to know each other, for context, he told me that he was 21 and I was only 16. Then he started to get weird. He would text me asking me about, Are you single? A virgin? Would you agree to an open relationship? And stuff like that. I thought it was weird, but harmless. Until he started texting me stuff like, Are you horny right now? and asterisk fingers you asterisk safe to say i was really uncomfortable but since i'm not comfortable with confrontation i simply logged off the game and ignored him stupid i know after not coming online for some time he started messaging me on discord he's able to find me there because i was on the same guild server i know now that i shouldn't have answered him but i decided to give him a second chance so we started chatting again he seemed normal at first, not mentioning what happened in game at all. He sent me a picture of what he looked like. He had greasy black hair, glasses, overweight, and of course, who could forget the patchiest neckbeard I've ever seen. And we just chatted normally, again. That lasted only a few days until it started to get weird again. I asked him what he was up to and would receive answers like, Trying to get in your panties. <sighs> or simply, uh, asterisk, pulls you onto my lap. I would tell him that I was uncomfortable with that. And he would stop, but only for a few days. The next day would begin again. And he would also constantly ask me stuff like, what would it take for you to consider dating me? And, can I kiss you? Finally, I had enough. I told him not to contact me again, so I blocked him. That was long overdue. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I might be staying at just two videos a week, so hope that's okay with you guys. If I do have time, I will put out a third one, but I think I've been overstretching myself. I can't say that I didn't enjoy it, but you know, you gotta use your time wisely. I set up the membership here on YouTube, so if you don't wanna go to Patreon, you can join as a member on YouTube. You'll get like special icons, stuff like that. Also, I'll make sure that there's always a video posted that's ad free so i would greatly appreciate anyone who would like to help support the channel that way as well thank you all again i want to give a special thanks to my patrons it's been wonderful having them they've helped me a lot during some of the rough times and also those comments i love those comments so keep those coming i love to read them i try to read every one if you have an upvote on your comment and it's just one of them that's more than likely me so thank you all 
And until next time, this is Dallas signing off.